Good day, guys. Ping here. Um, today we're going to model this railing. Okay, so um, so this uh, this is it. So this will be the family. So it can it will adjust the slope to match the slope, and also um, we're going to model this. So see this as a um, a panel. Okay, so let's let's start so first first I'm going to create a new project and uh, this one should be uh, architectural template and uh, so if, if we create a railing let's go to 3d view so this is a default uh, railing so usually in architectural template there are Four. So you will see this. So we're actually we are going to um, we're going to uh, start from this one. Okay. So start from this one. So this is the one. So using glass panel. So if you go edit type and go to plaster placement, you will see this is the panel. Okay. So panel glaze 800 mil. So and if you go to um, project browser and on the railing and you will find that uh, panel here so which is here so if you right click it and edit so you will see this is the panel so and then if you go here go to elevation left so you will see this is a panel so let me change it to SD shade so this is a glass panel so it's um, we are going to create a new one. So uh, let's close this one. Uh, we're going to create a new family uh, using the uh, panel. Uh, let me find it. This one, so baluster. So panel template. Okay, so it's very similar to the, the, the glass panel there, but uh, we're going to start from scratch. Okay, so, so once you start this um, panel plus panel template, so you are in this left, okay? So left elevation. So this is the elevation, okay? And we uh, now we are going to uh, create those, um, uh, what do we call them? Uh, posts or uh, baluster. But we're going to create it as one panel, okay? Multiple, multiple, um, and also see this. So these are the angles. So when you have uh, your railing, for example, on a ramp or on a sloped floor or on a uh, on stairs, so this will automatically match match the the slope. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to model a family that uh, follows follow this this four reference plan okay okay so let's start um okay so first so to uh we're not going to create an extrusion and uh, and array that extrusion because that won't work so what we need to do is we need to create um those baluster and as, as a single family and load into this family okay so let's just so actually just uh, I'm going to show you so um, I just uh, I did this uh, a couple of days ago and I found that um, it won't work well if we just load family in here and array it it won't work. I'm going to show you so what will happen if we do it that way. And then after that, I'm going to show you another way which works. It's just like the one I show you. Uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> I closed it. So yeah, just like the one I show you before. So, so first, um, let's create that um, the baluster. So um, actually, I'm going to use the generic model. Uh, where is it? Here. 
So I'm going to use this one. Okay, so the this um, and then just to create some reference plans. Okay, so dimension equal dimension equal. Oops, don't worry about this. <laughs> um, okay, so create two parameters, so width and the depth. So let's create. Let's let's call this uh, maybe depth D. Uh, I'm going to use type. Okay, so, and then this will be width. So um, I want it to be maybe five mil by thirty. So let's. So you can do it here. Depth thirty. Thick or uh, width five. Okay. So and then go create. Oh, before that. Maybe just go to front, create another reference plan. You can do it after. Okay, so H. Okay, so in type instance, uh, let's just use type. Okay, so go back to floor plan, create execution rectangle. Rectangle, yeah. Oh, don't worry. And the lock onto reference plan and the finish. Go to front, drag this up, lock. Don't worry about this. Um, that's it. So this will be one of the the baluster. So in so uh, inside that panel, the whole panel. So let me just change the scale a little bit. Okay. So now we can load this into that. Uh, Panel family here, so and then trying to place it here. So, uh, um, we need to we need to go to floor plan to place. But um, once we place, it will be placed onto the level reference level. So if I go to left, it's here. But we want that to follow the this. So for example, we want it to be here instead of here. So what we can do is um. We can do a reference reference plan and do a dimension. So depending on this angle, we can adjust this. Okay. So let's do it. So this one, I'll call this one. What do we call this? Offset instance and OK. So now um, we need to work out. We need to use a formula for this one. So let's let me just do a screenshot of this. So in this, so it's going to be here. So oh, sorry, this reference plan is going to be exactly here. So touch this reference reference plan, and in this triangular shape. So this is 90 degree. So this is offset O F S, and we know that. Uh, so this is the overall width. Okay, and this will be the half. Of the width, so width divided by two. So in this triangular shape, we know that this angle, this equals this, which is slope angle. So slope angle, and if we uh, this one and this one, so that will be tangent. So tangent S A equals so this offset divided by W half W. So which means S, um, which means offset. Offset equals tangent S A times half W. So this is a formula for that offset. So let's go back to Revit. So go to family. Uh, yeah, so with here. Yeah. So family types. So go to offset. So tangent um, tangent uh, slope angle times W with divided by two. So this will be the formula apply. So you will see this reference plan automatically uh, match. Okay, match this intersection point here. So now we can go. Um, we can actually we can set work plan. Pick the plan. Pick this reference and go to floor plan and place the. This family, so I'm going to place it here. So uh, and and it looks like we need to rotate it by 90 degrees or so space. 
okay so and then place it here so let's have a look in left uh, still doesn't work it's it's being placed down to reference level so that's that's okay we can go to uh, go into this family and check this work plan based okay so check and load it back and overwrite so now we can select this app family and then edit work plan okay so if you if we don't check that one you won't have this option but if you check that you can edit a plan pick a plan okay and pick this reference plan so you see it will come down so um and then select this one so because we need to match the height so the height here is h we just need to match uh, this blaster height okay so and then that's it so now now we need to array it so select this one array ar so i'm going to array use end so end okay so ar so use last not second use last and then i'll just pick this one roughly place it there and finish it um, and then select this this is a number for the array so let's create a, a number parameter let's call it a number and instance and okay and also this so this one need to go here so um, what we can do is so on this vertical uh, uh, reference we can lock this onto the vertical reference plan no problems but horizontal uh, we, there's nothing for now so we need to create a reference plan and then do another dimension and use the same offset so in the AL align lock and that's it so now this array so um I'll just I want to have a test so if I change the angle to for example 20 degree okay so we we we, we need to do a, a line this one as well in the lock and then let's try again all good and if if we change the width let's see what happens okay need to align this okay so now it should, should be all good i think yeah good this one good so now we just need to work out the number so um we already have the number the parameter for the number and then we just need to work out um we need to create a new parameter let's call it spacing okay so and change this to uh, oh sorry length is correct and instance or type um, doesn't matter so um now for number we're going to use uh the overall width divided by spacing so i'm not sure uh whether i need to, we need to uh, round up or round down but this is not important but for for now so uh oh hang on spacing we can't have zero that's fine control x go back maybe type in 100 and then control v apply okay so and then that's it so roughly 100 <laughs> okay so um yeah so it tests um so now i'm going to load this into the uh into the project and so because it works well so you as you can see it works perfectly so um uh, in here but i'll show you once we load this into the project and i'm going to just edit this one okay so i'll edit type duplicate uh, i'll call it new and then go to buster placement and then i'll change this one to the new family and i think the last width i had is 900 or 600 i uh, can't remember it seems that we need to double or uh, half that so if it's 900 i'll try 500 okay so i click ok and also maybe i'll just get rid of these railing this railing so they are here so okay so delete and delete and okay and okay so now you as you can see it's 
not working the angle is not working so this is exactly what it uh, in the in here so we have 20 degree but once we load this into the project it it's it's it didn't it doesn't change it change it doesn't change and match the actual railing which is zero degree okay so this is not working but don't don't worry um we can we can just add another step so we're going to um oh actually hang on, hang on a sec we, we need to create a new one so but exactly use the same so re imagine you, uh, we are going to create another another family with this but um uh, let's let's do it okay so you probably already just try to remember we what we need so with height and angle okay so go let's create a new one family um, we're going to use generic model again and once again let's go to left elevation okay so reference plan so reference plan and di so this will be the overall width and this will be the height and then we need angle so for angle we need a reference line okay so start from this point go up and from this point go down so parallel and uh, before we dimension it let's al align okay so this reference plan and the tab pick this and this reference plan tab pick this end point so once again so for this one tab and so this one oh good now we can create an angular angular parameter so di so this one will be the slope angle so i'm going to just call it as a slope angle and instance and okay and another one di S and SA. Okay, so now we still need that reference plan. So horizontal and the DI. So this one will be uh, let's call it offset. Select both and OFS instance. And again, same. Just go to OFS. Uh, we're going to oh hell, we 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 have we need to create this so let's call it a width okay so w and it will be type parameter so let's just do this one as well so height okay so okay so now go to family types so we can use that formula so we did it before so ofs equals tangent tangent sa times w with divide by two so this will yeah so you will see it will just go through this intersection point um what's next okay i think that's uh that's it and then when you go back to find the the uh, individual so the, which is individual family so which is this one so you can tap so it's in the group but you can tab select this family edit family and then load this into the last one I think family three and then um, so okay so seems we have some issue play oh, we can't place on face here because there's no face for us to place so we need to use place on work plan but we don't know which one so if you don't pick any work plan so it should be see on the reference level that's fine we can place it and change the work plan later so but use a space to rotate your family and let's place one here okay so now go to the left and you will see this family is being placed here so that's fine we can use edit work plan pick a plan and pick this reference plan and then we just need to go to edit type to match the height 
to the height here. Okay, so it's it should match the height. You'll see if I extend this band, it will touch on this point. All good, and then we can do array and align, and also this one. And also, um, let's try to change something. Okay, so maybe change the width. And then just align and also align in the lock. So this should um, work. And uh, let's try to change the, uh, what do I change? Maybe height parameter. Um, I don't worry about that. I think it should be fine. <laughs> and then we need to create the number parameter, so which is this one. Add a parameter NO instance and also create a spacing. So, oops, spacing parameter. Um, maybe I'll just make it type parameter. Okay, so I'll just type in 100 and number will be um, with divided by spacing. Oh. Okay, I think that's that's it. So the next step is we just need to load this into the panel family. So let's have a look. Uh, so this is a panel family, and of course we don't need them anymore. So select all of these and delete. Uh, we don't need we don't need this one anymore. We don't need uh, uh, we don't need this one. Okay, I think that's it. So that's uh, empty. So it's empty, pretty much empty family here. So now go back. So maybe I'll rename it so it's easier for us to uh, I'll save as family. So currently family one, I'll save it. I'll call it panel. Okay, so panel. So I'll go back to, so this one is a generic model. So this is a generic model. Um, uh, what do we call this one? <laughs> I'll just call it a generic model. Okay, so I'll save as generic model. Save. Now we load this into the panel family and then place it. So go to floor plan and place it here, so in the middle, okay? So I don't think we need to align or lock, should, should, should be okay. And then go to left, and then what we need to do is we need to uh, just link the, link the uh, few, link some parameters. So for example, SA, we just need to link SA to this, to this slope angle, okay? So it will match that slope angle and also we need to link the width and the, the height so which is um, here so height so to match the height and match the spacing so we already have the spacing here and the width we match the width match the width sorry just one sec okay I'm back. Um, where where am I? So everything's linked. Okay, all good. So click OK. So now you will see it will automatically match this reference plan. And the next step is we can load this into a project. So let's load into a project. And we just need to. Uh, because we changed the name, so it will not automatically uh, update. So we just need to go edit type here, change this to the panel. Hi, and okay, and apply. <laughs> so now you will see it should become a zero degree. Okay, and then let's try. Uh, actually, let me just make it a uh, shorter. <laughs> and if we let's see if we place a uh, for example, place a floor underneath, and I'll just uh, give it a little slope. Okay, so uh, 
maybe I'll just do this once. And so now if I pick new host, and then you will see this will automatically match the slope of this uh, floor. If I rotate it, it will still match the floor. Okay. So the same if you do stairs. So um, it and then if you change this one to the new one, so it will create auto this to match the slope of the stairs. Same as uh, the ramp. Okay. So the next step is let's just make it uh, a little bit nicer. So add horizontal uh, members into it as well. So it will be, so if you go back to here railing, so it's the panel, I think, panel, this one, panel, this one, right click and edit. So we just need to add, um, we can do it here. Uh, let's have a look. So we can go to left and create um, just create a maybe extrusion. Okay, so I'll create extrusion and pick a plan. Mm, uh, pick a plan, which plan? So maybe go to floor plans so because we can't pick a plan uh, on that uh, in that elevation. We need to pick this reference plan. Okay, so um, extrusion and then set to a plan, pick a plan and pick this. So try to pick the uh, the dashed. So this is not um, this work a reference plan. So this is the plan work plan. Sorry, this is a reference plan in the family. So tab, so this one. Okay, so and then go back to left and then we can just pick lines, lock. I'm just going to pick this reference. Oh, hang on. Just make sure when you pick line, make sure you pick the reference plan. So this is not this one. And we also maybe need, oh, wrong, wrong one again. So control Z, just pick, try to pick the re, uh, reference plan. Yeah, tab, this one. And then for this, I'm going to just copy that down or offset, maybe offset, O F, offset, I mil, and, oh, these lines are too thick, so you can always change the scale to make them uh, slightly. Yeah, I think that's good. Offset, 5, good. And tr trim. And uh, maybe we should, if I TL, so you will see the, the little, you know, uh, corner there so maybe it's good to uh, to negative five so go the other go up so you won't see um, and also this is a little bit awkward here as well um, that's fine uh, we will fix it just add a dimension the locket so I'll just make it five mil always five mil uh, same do another one OF five mil go down and also pick another line, pick this reference plan again, pick this reference plan again, trim TR, oops, wrong one. And that's it. Okay, so now let's fix this these corners. So it would be quite easy if we can we, we just use a line and align these two. This reference plan. Oh, hang on. Not here, because if if we do this, so you will see it will go. The whole panel will go to the right. So let's control Z, control Z. So there are two options, I think. So one option is use formula to control the width of this panel to you know. Uh, to be 10 mil less than the width in this family, but, but it's uh, it's not um, it's 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 easier to use another method. The, the, the second method, the other method is just go into this panel and align this 
remove constraint, lock again. And do the same here. And then lock again. So this way you don't need to worry about a formula. Okay, so just load this back into the panel and overwrite. And now you'll see it match these, uh, these members will match the reference plan here and here. All good. So now we can load this into the project and overwrite. Oh, I forgot to change the depth of that those execution. That's fine. Let's uh, let's go back here. Right click execution. I'll just type in um, 30 mil. That's 15, 15, and negative 15. That's it. Okay. So and also, uh, if you wanted to, you can add a material parameter. So and if you want to add other material parameter, you need to go into this again, okay, and then link this um, into the material parameter in this family. So let's just load this back into project again and overwrite, and that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, let's just have another test. So ramp. Finish. Good. Stairs. And if I copy this one here, it will become a flat again. Is it flat? Um, reset. Ah, it's, it's already flat. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, and also, if you find a better way to do it, um, to avoid the 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 extra extra step uh, of nesting families, please then let let me know as well because you know it's a bit awkward to to make it work, and we need to. We need to have one extra step. It should work directly in here because when we test it, it works. But when we load into a project, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so thank you. I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Sorry, let me just quickly show you. So how to change the, the width of these panels. Okay, so um, here to change the panel of the width. So first, you need to create a panel. So currently, this one. So this is a panel with 900 width. So what you need to do, uh, maybe I'll just name this 900 mil, so it's easier. Okay, so what you need to do is first, you need to duplicate this type. Okay, so and then you can rename it. So for example, I'll rename it uh, 1.5 meter, for example. And double click it and change the parameter of this width. So 1.5 meter, okay? So once finished, you need to go to this railing and edit type. So I'm going to, so maybe rename this as 900 mil because uh, you, you want you probably want to keep the the previous uh, type, and then go create a new duplicate and create a new type, 1.5 meter, um, and here plus the placement. So you need to change this one to a, this new type you here, this one, and also you, you need to change the this change the uh, distance from previous, which means the spacing of these panels. So basically you can just divide this number by two and then plus a little bit gap. So what I think uh, we need is probably 800 for them. Okay, or oh, 800. So you can always uh, test. So click OK, click OK, and then you will see your panel become 1.5 meter um, 
I think one point yeah one point five meter and with a little bit gap maybe fifty or I think that's yeah looks like fifty. So that's how you change the change the uh, panel size. Okay, so you need to do here. Also, you need to do the change here. That's it for today. Um, thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.